Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today I'm gonna to show you how I make my big barbecue meatball sandwich. This one's a super sub. It's gonna feed a lot of people or one hungry one like me. Let's get to cooking. So this recipe is all about making fresh meatballs. I'm starting with some ground meat. I've got some pork and I've got some beef going in a bowl. Got to have a little bit of garlic, three or four cloves minced up, and then a small onion. I've just finely diced it, pretty much a mince. We're going to add some Parmesan cheese. This is going to help us bind it together. We also need some breadcrumbs. You could use fresh breadcrumbs if you like, just enough to help them stick together. And our glue is going to be a couple eggs. Just add those to the top. We're gonna to get them all mixed in in a second, but we gotta have some seasoning. I'm using a big heaping tablespoon of my country sausage seasoning. You could use fresh store sausage if you wanted to. Also gonna add some barbecue rub. We need a big heaping tablespoon of that. That's gonna make these barbecue meatballs have a ton of flavor. Now we gotta get those hands dirty. We're gonna mix all these ingredients together with the pork, with the beef. We're gonna start forming them into some meatballs. You just wanna take your time, make sure all those seasonings the onion, the garlic, all those flavors get worked in with the breadcrumbs and the Parmesan cheese. Now, after we got it all incorporated, I'm gonna bring in two small racks here, get them sprayed with a little cooking spray, just so nothing sticks to it, because these balls are gonna cook on these racks the whole time. And I'm gonna use a little melon baller just to kind of help me keep the same size. I want a, you know, a good size meatball. I don't want it too packy. Just wanna kind of roll it around a little bit, about the size of a golf ball. We're gonna place these on the racks. Get a few scoops going so I can roll them up faster. Now it's just easier to come back, keep those hands a little cleaner. I can ball them all up that I got them scooped out, kind of form them a little bit. And once I get them all rolled up, you know they're going in some smoke. Then we're gonna smother them in sauce, cover them in cheese. Subway ain't got nothing on this big boy. So the two pounds of meat made exactly 24 meatballs. These are hearty man-sized meatballs. I know they're gonna cook down some when we get them on the smoker, so I wanted a little bit bigger meatball. I'm gonna top them off a little bit of barbecue rub, just on the outside. I'm not gonna roll them around. Just give them a little light coating. This will help the outside look good. It's gonna keep that barbecue element going. So I've got my Traeger fired up today with some signature blend pellets, running about 350 degrees to cook these meatballs. And I'm just gonna set these racks right on the grate on this Traeger. All right, we're gonna let the balls roll. I'll check on them in 30 minutes, see how they're doing. I wanna make sure they get at least a 165 for proper doneness. At the 30 minute mark, they weren't quite there, but it's been 45. I'm pretty sure we're right on the money now. Oh yeah, 168, 67, 65. These meatballs are ready, but we're not quite done. We gotta glaze them now. So I'm just gonna take each one, move it to a metal pan here. I think they'll all fit. It's gonna be close. But I got one row left. There we go. Now for the sauce. And I'm just using the barbecue sauce. You could use your favorite barbecue sauce for these. We just want a real good barbecue flavor on them. Just cover each one. Let it get happy in that sauce. I'm gonna use the whole bottle, why not? Can't get them too saucy, right? Man, what are you talking about? Barbecue meatballs? We're gonna give them about five, 10 minutes. Let that glaze heat up, get sticky on the outside. Build a sub sandwich here in a minute. So while we're glazing the meatballs on the smoker, I'm gonna go ahead and get our bread ready. I've got a big loaf of French bread and we're gonna canoe this out. I'm just gonna kinda of go to the ends, make me some cuts where I can dig out some of the bread. We're not gonna cut it in half. I want it to hold these meatballs. So I'm just going down the side, not all the way through. You wanna stay shallow? Now, we're just gonna take our hands, just kinda of dig it out. I don't wanna tear the bread at all. Now we've got a real good foundation to hold all these meatballs and all that cheese we're fixing to put on them. All right, these meatballs have been glazing for 10 minutes. Sauce is all bubbling. They look beautiful. It's time to put them on the bread. Look at that. <whistles> beautiful. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is put some provolone cheese down as a base, right in the bread. Just slice provolone from the deli, nothing fancy. We'll get one more slice on there because I like cheese. Now we got us a good base layer. Now we're ready for the meatballs. I'm just gonna spoon them out. Some of that sauce comes with it, that's okay. We're gonna load them up. You can serve these meatballs by themselves right now. They would be fantastic, but they're gonna be even better as a big old sandwich. How many think I can get in there? I don't know if all of them's gonna go, but I'm sure we're gonna make it look good. And I'm gonna get a little bit of extra sauce over the top just because I like the sauce. There we go. I'm sticking one more meatball in the end. I ain't gonna let it come out like I'm a chunk. I want it filled up. Uh-oh, 
Want one more? How about right there? That looks like a meatball sub. Now we need more cheese. I've got some shredded mozzarella. I'm just gonna cover the top of it. Could add more provolone on top if you wanted to, but you can't have too much cheese. Now we need a little more heat to melt this cheese. And since the grill's hot, I'm gonna throw it right back on the pit. Let this cheese melt, maybe five minutes. We'll be eating meatball sub. You know I gotta try one of these meatballs while that cheese is melting. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Now after about five minutes, all of our cheese is melted and bubbling. We're ready to go to the cutting board. Now I thought about serving this sandwich just open face, digging right in, but I also toasted the top piece of bread. And I think I'm gonna just put the top piece on top. It looks beautiful as is, but now we're more of a sandwich. So let's just cut right down the center of it. And then I'm gonna cut that in half. That way I can pick up me a big man size in. Look at that meatball, I cut right through that meatball. I know this cheese is gonna be hot, sauce is oozing. Mm. Provolone stretching. Bread's great for dipping up that sauce and the meatballs, let me tell you. You can do them solo. You don't even have to have them on a sandwich. Mmm, that'll make you happy right there. This one, this sandwich right here, this sandwich right here hurts you. It is that good. Meatballs are smoky. Got that barbecue flavor, we glazed them, smothered them in the cheese. That's a grand slam, touchdown, two point conversion, whatever you wanna call it. That's good eats. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me here today at How to Barbecue Right. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to the channel. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, even TikTok. Shell and I will talk about this meatball sub, all the other delicious stuff we're doing on our weekly podcast. Y'all give that a listen too. I got some work to do. We'll see y'all next time. Come on, Shell. You gotta get you a bite of this sandwich. Mmm.